Hey Capricorn, welcome to your pop reading. This is going to be a um, quick reading for you guys. Um, I'm doing this for today. Quick reads, no extended. Um, just to give you insights for today. As well, I have new tarot decks, so just want to give this a spin. All right. And everybody, I hope you're all staying well, uh, taking care of yourselves, and um, do hydrate yourself, and... Uh, practice uh, cleanliness. Alright, so this is for Capricorn. Cappy, let's do your reading. Okay. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter, in love. You have the Page of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands. All right. So this is very much similar to my Aquarius reading. So if you want to, the energy that is around here, you want to check that out as well. I feel that um, this connection is uh, focused on rest and recovery for now. This could even be the um, the calmness after a breakup, after an ending. Um, things are pretty quiet around here. Mm -hmm. Things things is pretty quiet. Things are pretty quiet around here, and um, there's been a challenge on you know the uh, reaching out or the consistency of showing expression after some form of breakup or some form of um, discontinued connection, basically. A lot of thinking, a lot of hoping and wishing, but it feels like there is no or there is not much steps in, in doing or offering some form of affection or even an apology if that was required after that breakup. That's not happening right now. And somehow that could even um, lead this connection into some form of stagna stagnation for now. Cappy, I can see that um, you may be doing well with your money as of this time frame. There could be new opportunities coming towards you. Sometimes I feel that this is truly unexpected for you. This could be money, this could be new relationship even, this could be a lot of good things, but new opportunity that the universe is handing over. It's up to you whether you want to take this on and then uh, work towards making it better. Work towards cultivating this to a fruitful outcome here. So, But there is that new opportunity that is um, being handed over to you. Mm -hmm. This could also be you recognizing the fact that after the breakup, after things have um, transpired between you and this person, there is this new opportunity here to start something off. But um, a part of you, Cappy, is feeling that there's been a lot of um, power struggle even for this connection. It feels like both of you have very strong energies. Um, it could be both feminine or masculine energies in this connection. Well, you know, there needs to be an equal exchange of energy. Like, if the person gives, the other person needs to be happy in receiving it. Or if the person gives more, the other person would also also take some time to give more in the later part. Or, you know, there's an equal give and take. But it feels like there is a power struggle here. Somebody may be wanting to receive more and do less or vice versa, something like that. So you feel that there is this power struggle and then you can't just get into a moderated space here or a um, a common ground. There needs to be a common ground here in order for, um, even in order for this new beginning to start to be cultivated. Mm -hmm. But you see potential for a new beginning here. Yeah? I feel that you may even have communicated with this person after some breakup or after some falling apart. You you have communicated on the practical sense in life, talking about current events, what's happening with the mountains, the seas, and the waters, and all that. 
but nothing related to emotions, how you feel about this person. And I feel that that is expected by your person. And therefore, your person right now is, is heartbroken, disappointed. And it feels like... Somehow I feel that your person has turned their back on this connection for now, Cappy. Because it feels like they may have done a lot. They may feel, this person may feel that they may have done a lot, given a lot into this connection, and yet it's, it's not giving them any brighter days. Things are still very gloomy. It feels like this person feels like they are dealing with the shadow side of a situation all the time. And possibly it's time to just um, leave it behind for now. Yeah, because it's not moving anywhere. And the main goal of this person is actually to move this forward. The way I see it is that this person is willing to put in the effort as long as um, it's apparent that there is a, a good outcome here. There is an equal give and take. It is worth investing. But if it's one-sided, your person can see that, can feel that, and they are not willing to um, put more effort into it until there is um, certainty of, you know, the certainty that you're both walking towards the path of stability and security or towards building a future together. Anything less than that, I don't think your person is really appreciating it for now. Mm -hmm. And I'm also getting that um, they may be feeling that you have been in and out in their life, that you may just come back because um, you want to you wanna feel good about yourself. If they give you attention, then you feel good or something like that, or vice versa. But I'm seeing here somebody is feeling as though this connection has been going on for a while. Um, it feels like somebody here is coming in and out of a connection and every time they come in it's it's the main purpose was to get attention or to um, get something that they want and then they fall back into oblivion once again so uh, yeah so the other person is not very happy with that because there's no consistency and it doesn't bring you a stable and long-term um, security for a connection that they want you're dealing with someone, Capricorn, who wants a stable, secure, long-term connection. So anything less than that is not very appealing or not very interesting for them. Yeah, But I do see here um, also that perhaps there was an offer of love in the past, but um, it may not have been um, appreciated or accepted. There, was, there may be some form of rejection and... And somehow, if that offer was given to you, Capricorn, your person is waiting for you to speak up and tell them exactly how you feel about that offer. If you have rejected that in the past, this person is still giving you the leeway or an opening for you to talk about that. If you're, you know, if you're starting to communicate with them for now and you're going to talk about that offer that they gave to you in the past, I feel that your person is open for it as long as... The conversation is truthful. The conversation is um, it's worth having for. That means that you want, to con you want to converse, you want to talk about that offer that may have been given or the offer that you may want to give so long as um, it, is, it is authentic and so long as you're both open to the fact that this could lead to a longer road for both of you in the near future. So that's what I see. I hope this gives you insights. Um, if you like it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share. And um, let me know how this resonates with you. If you want more uh, readings from me, there are I would there are some um, video links in the end screen of this video. So have a look at them. They also have they also come with extended, and um, I feel that you would also like them. Okay. And that's all I have for now. Also, watch out for my weekly Love Connections reading. Some of them would go extended readings as well every Fridays. Okay, bye now.